वेलकम बैक क्लास टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर केमिस्ट्री क्लास एंड दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन एंड दिस इज द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आवर चैप्टर दैट इज एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट सो टुडे वी विल डील विद टॉपिक दैट इज सॉल्ट हाइड्रोलिसिस इट वाज गिवन यू इन अ बुक सो आई थॉट टू कम गो फॉर इट एंड टुडे वी विल कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर एंड before that i would like to give you some instructions regarding the questions of your workbook i think you must go through it you should do all the exercises of your workbook and plus you attempt i will be giving you some selected questions also but regarding the solutions you must attempt the difficult ones and you must practice after after this week you will get some time we will have a break i think so from 1st june or after this week from saturday onwards so you should go to all the question and answers by yourself and the one with in which you have confusion so you can send it through message that internal message system of campus care and i will clear your doubts so go on doing those things the workbook exercises and all the the good questions which you feel they can pose some difficulty to you so you must attempt those questions if you feel that they can be done very easily so you can do it orally and you can leave it but those questions which can pose some difficulty to you so you should attempt them and then we have uh, we will complete this today after that analytical chemistry analytical chemistry is basically i have told you is based on your cramming abilities and we will discuss some of the color of the ions and all those things introduction and all those things we will discuss it will be hard to take one lecture so tomorrow most probably we will discuss it but the best part is that you should do it by yourself you should cram the things so uh, let's start the students salt hydrolysis the first what is salt hydrolysis i will want to give the introduction salt hydrolysis or hydrolysis of salts so salt the hydrolysis what is hydrolysis hydro means water means reaction of salt with water is salt hydrolysis simply now we have studied that acid and base react to give salt and water acid and base react to give salt and water now opposite we oppose if we reverse this reaction so that is salt hydrolysis we salt plus water gives acid and base now our in salt hydrolysis what's our main objective we have to check it that when any salt is reacted with water it is giving acid and base so what is the nature of that solution whether it is alkaline that is basic or whether it is acidic so it depends on some factor so for that we must know what a salt is made up of so salt is made up of a basic cation and acidic anion a cation and an anion so first thing is listen very properly the first thing is from where this basic cation is coming from where this acidic cation acidic anion is coming means if it is coming from definitely it will come from base and acidic will come from acid so we have to check whether that particular base is strong or weak or that particular acid from which the acidic anion is coming that is strong or weak so that for that we know what are strong acids what are strong base the water is strong acids all the sulfuric acids all the nitric acids all the chlorides means hydrochloric acid and the hf hydrogen fluoride all these acids are strong acids weak acids acidic acid all the organic acids h2co3 these are weak acids as well level that you have to cram the strong base the NaOH the alkalis the QH they are strong base weak base 
so we have ammonium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and yes, we have leakage of hydroxides so we can say weaker gully so strong acid is strong as we know so by mixing strong acid with strong base strong acid weak base strong base weak acid and weak acid weak base so we get four types of salts so that we have to just get the concept and then we have to apply on the salt hydrolysis now salt hydrolysis you are getting salt plus water gives acid and base now if this acid or base it comes to be we we need get a strong acid and weak base listen properly if you get as a product a strong acid and weak base so it will be an acidic solution if you get weak acid a strong base a strong alkali it will be alkaline solution if you get a strong acid and a strong base so it will be a neutral solution and the fourth one weak acid weak base on combination of weak and weak base we get acidic or alkaline or neutral solution depending on the dissociated ions and the undissociated molecules so and that is that should be studied at 11th or 12th class or after that when you go for competition so there is a concept of conjugate acid conjugate base conjugate base conjugate acid so that main main concept comes from there so i am not going to explain that got no need here just i am going to give you the introduction and the glimpse of what is salt hydrolysis and what are the little bit concepts about that so let's have a look at the board so salt plus water salt hydrolysis salt plus water gives acid plus base and reverse we have studied acid plus base gives salt plus water so salt plus water this is the action of salt with water is salt hydrolysis and gives acid plus base now this acid plus base will decide whether the solution we are getting will be acidic or basic how suppose we get a strong acid and weak base so the solution will be acidic if we get weak acid as a product and a strong base so the solution will be basic that is alkaline if we get a strong acid and a strong base so they will neutralize they will we will, will get a neutral solution and if we get both weak acid and weak base so it will depend on the dissociated ions and the undissociated molecules in acid and base so that you can just you don't need the information that if you go for deciding so that will uh, degree of ionization that will be beyond your course so that information that much you need now the most important thing is your students in knowing about the strong acids weak acids the strong acids weak bases so strong acids are for at your level hcl hno3 h2so4 hf and so on weak acids are h2co3 organic acids acetic acids all these are weak acids strong bases you know very well we have studied strong alkalis nh qh weak bases weak alkalis we know that calcium hydroxide then we have ammonium hydroxide these are weak ones so now so salt is made up of basic radical and acidic radical so basic radical can be of two types if it comes from a strong base it can come from weak base similarly acidic radical can come from two source if it comes from a strong acid if it comes from weak acid so together we have we can have four types of salts how we take a strong acid so a strong base a strong acid one of them a strong base weak acid one type salt 
weak is base, strong acid, another, then weak and weak. So we have total four types of salt. That's why I have drawn it. So this is very important to understand how many types of salts we can get. For example, let us see. We have a strong acid, HCl, and we have weak base. So we take the example of HCl. So HCl acid gives Cl minus one ion. And if we take FeOH3, so FeOH3 is it, it is a weak base. So weak base, what it is giving us, it gives Fe plus three. Because we from base we get the cation and from acid we get the anion to make the salt. Now these will combine depending on the valency. So what we will get? Fe Cl3. So this FeCl3 is a salt. This FeCl3 is a salt formed by a strong acid and weak base. And that strong acid is HCl and that weak base is FeOH1. This is very important to understand. Another example you can take of H2SO4. Similarly, H2SO4. It is a strong acid. Then you take CUH whole twice. This is a weak base. Again, you are going to get a salt of a strong acid and weak base. How? This is you will get SO4 2 minus, and here you will be getting Cu plus 2. So this base gives the cation and this acid gives the anion. So what salt you, will, you are going to get? That is CuSO4. So this salt is basically of strong acid and weak base. Similarly, you can make salt from strong base, weak acid, weak acid, weak base, strong acid, strong base. One example again I am going to take of strong base, C, second type of salt. So strong base, let us take an average. Strong base. And we take weak acid. Let us take H2CO3. Weak acid. So base gives cation, so we have Na plus. Acid gives anion, we have CO3 to minus. So we come minus, we get Na2. CO2. So this salt we are getting from a strong base and weak base. So this is the method how we find the salts. Now let us take another example here only because this is very important to practice and you will get all the concepts clear in a very easy manner. Then you will understand this part. Now we can take KOH the strong base. KOH is a strong base. And let's take weak acid, that's acidic acid, CH3COOH. Now KOH base, it gives cation, so here we have K plus. And CH3COOH, that is acidic acid, weak acid, it gives anion CH3COO minus, that is our minus. Now when you combine it, so since we cannot write like this K. KCA3, see it will look very odd writing this like this. So, how we write instead of this, we write like this CA3, we write first the CA3 COK. So, this is a salt formed by strong acid and weak acid. So, how do we find the salt? So, this way. Weak acid, weak base, now you can do, I think, very well, very easily. So these are the four types of salt you will get. Now, when these four types of salts will react with water, they will give acid and base. Now, if that particular product contains a strong acid, the whole solution will be acidic. If it contains strong base, the whole solution will be 
basic or alkaline. If it contains both the strong acid and weak base, so they will really there will be a neutral solution. So let us see one by one all the four examples. So let's take a strong example of a strong acid and weak base. So we have just found a salt. We have key how we find this salt of a strong acid and weak base. That is FeCl3. We have just practiced how we have got this salt. Strong acid and weak base. Strong acid and weak base. Now it is being reacted with water. It gives HCl and FeOH both choice. Now, what is the method to check whether this solution, this solution, particular this solution, will be acidic or base? Now we see that HCl is a strong acid and base is weak. So Comparatively, we will get since we are getting only strong acid and one weak base, so completely this solution will be acidic. Similarly, CuSO4 is a salt made from a strong acid and weak base. What are the strong acid and weak base? Strong acid is H2SO4, and weak base is CuOH four twice. So it is reacted and it gives the product as H2SO4 and CuH all twice. So we have here a strong acid, so and weak base. So this will be acidic. Now second type of strong base plus weak acid. Salt of strong base and weak acid. We have Na2SO3 reacted, gives H2CO3. And NOH. Now here we have we are getting weak acid and a strong base. So this will be alkaline because we are getting a strong base. And similarly we have this. Now weak acid plus weak base. It depends on the number of dissociated ions that is beyond your level to explain. Now we have strong acid and a strong base. So here you can write that you can get acidic, basic, or neutral, depending on the dissociated ions and undissociated molecule. Then we have strong acid plus a strong base, which will give a neutral solution. So this was just an you can say introductory part that you have whatever I, today I have given you. Now the real explanation you will get in 11th, 12th or after that and that includes the conjugate acid and conjugate base concept. So don't get worried or don't get confused if anybody says that in this explanation is done without conjugate acid, without telling conjugate acid and conjugate base. So uh, I am telling you before that you don't get confused whether uh, because I have not told you because that's not at your not told not to be told at your level and no need so you can just you need the definition what is salt hydrolysis and what type of salt hydrolysis can be there there can be four types of salt hydrolysis and they are on the basis of uh, whether it is a strong acid or a strong base weak acid weak base strong acid weak base weak acid strong base so with this, dear students, we end this chapter and we took a good time because it was a big chapter and I think it, very, it will be very helpful if you go through it the conceptual way and it will be helpful in the whole 10th class and 11th class and 12th class and then we have analytical chemistry. So with this, I end my lecture and we finish this chapter number three. So thank you very much.